Hello, in this video, I will start with the basics for moving parts around Altium um, PCB layout. So when you start, after updating the PCB board, all your parts will be on the side over here. Mm -hmm. To move a part, you will just simply select it and drag it using left click. To rotate it will be with the space bar. Um, so I'm going to drop that in. Normally, what you would do is you would start with your most complicated part and fixed points, such as the pin headers, and place them on your board where you want them to be. And then you would rearrange everything else around that so that you have the least number of lines crossing that you can. Um, once you have that, you'll want to edit the board shape. So you'll click one, and then you'll hit design, edit board shape, and you will try to make it as close to the actual shape of what you got in the square form. It's normally better. Um, when you have the shape you want, hit the two and go back to the regular edit mode. Other useful things that you might want to know right now is how to use the filter command right here. So if you click all off, now you can't select anything and nothing will work. Um, another note is when nothing is selected, if you go to edit board shape, it won't let you do anything because you can't select anything. So you have to turn off the filter and then you can edit your board shape. I forgot to turn it off. And now I can edit board shape. Um, another thing you can do, which is kind of helpful, is select only text and then use control A to select all the text. Click on properties tab and you can change the text height, dimensions, and other information. Um, you can change it to true type or stroke. Uh, a tip for your PCB board would also be to make these more useful than R1, R2, R3, R4, if you would like, so that you know the values when you're soldering onto your board instead of having to look between a schematic and a resistor. And you can just drag them all. And this is easier if you have the text selected. Um, in the next video, I will cover using the polygon four and getting the shop rules from online.